Tim Bonnes from the Washington Post. Just for any of you guys, uh, Bob's got a bit of an interesting and uh, I think unique uh, style and kind of way he conducts himself on the sidelines. Is that something that, that you guys uh, has taken time to get used to as you've played for him? And, and what is it like playing for him? Uh, I think all of us kind of knew what we were getting into whenever we signed up for this. But, you know, I think that's kind of part of why we did. We enjoy playing for a coach like him, and it's what we look forward to every day. Go in the middle. Javon, your guys' press obviously puts a lot of uh, pressure and responsibility on the other team's point guard. I'm just wondering what you've seen out of Nigel Williams-Goss. Um, he's a good player, you know. Um, good size, you know, he's poised. Try to play at his own pace. And it's, um, it's, our, it's, it's us guards' job um, to make him uncomfortable. On the back, back left. Jeff Coyle, West Virginia Illustrated. Elijah, mostly, uh, this is a team that posted up as much or more than anybody else in the entire country. You faced a team that liked to do it ab about that rate in Bucknell, but what will the uh, challenge be for you guys when you go up against a two seven-footers who, who get the ball with great consistency? Uh, man, just to make it real hard for them. Uh, obviously, we're going front to post the whole game. Uh, but obviously, you just take it really hard for them to score the ball, even if they do catch it. Uh, and it starts with the guards, obviously. Uh, just putting ball pressure on those guards and then just make sure we do what we got to do when we get, when they, if they do get the ball. Just to follow up on that, to Nate or anybody else who wants to take it, but he just mentioned, you know, if they get the ball, uh, your role to deny that entry pass in the first place so that they aren't even able to get into their offense. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what we try to do. We try to take away passes and make it, make them, you know, start their offense further away from the best and make those entry pass harder and make it easier in our bigs. Hands, any questions? Nothing? Okay. <laughs> uh, for Tariq, you guys have had a number of uh, close games this season. Um, something like that where you've been through, uh, you know, tight situations in the final moments of the second half, how much can that help when you're going into tournament play and you know that you know, each time you step on the court, you've got a quality opponent? Um, we played against a lot of good teams. Um, as you said, we've been in a lot of tough battles, so I feel like our team is, is ready for those kind of battles, poised in those situations. And we should be ready if we get, end up getting into one of those kind of situations. For Javon, I know it's a very different makeup of this team, but two years after uh, the first time that you got a taste of the Sweet 16, what, if anything, is, is different this go around, whether it's just you know that you've been there before, or how, how is this week leading up, you think, been different from two years ago? Mm, this year, this year, two years ago, two years ago. Um, it's totally different. Um, it's a different team. We're playing a different team, different region, different state. This is different. Everything's different. Go on the front right. Josh Peter, USA Today for Nathan. What do you think of Shem Karnowski's beard, and how does yours compare? <laughs> His is better than mine, and I'll never be able to grow one like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. What, what about just beards in general? I think half their team is bearded. I think yours might be, if you got nine guys, is this like a, what, if this were a beard comp competition, how would it work out, you think? I have no idea, but I don't think we think about that too much. <laughs> Anybody else? Go in the back. <laughs> this could go to any of you. I think maybe Nate, starting with Nate would be good. But uh, when you get into a situation like this, you're, you're this deep in the tournament, and you've got a head coach like Bob Huggins who, you know, you guys, he's been to a couple of Final Fours but never gotten that national championship. How much – do you at this point, uh, you know, think of what it would mean to get him one as much as you do, obviously, yourselves and, and the team? I mean, I think that's something that would seal his legacy as one of the greatest coaches of all time. But, you know, we're trying to do it for ourselves, for him, for the state of West Virginia. We're trying to do it for a lot of things. I mean, yeah, exactly what he said, man. I just feel like, you know, this is for the state. Uh, not only for him, but this is really for us. I mean, we put in a lot of work over the summertime. 
Uh, we do a lot of workouts, man. I just feel like, you know, it would be a waste of time to come this far and just, you know, let it all go. Oh, we'll go up front, front left, Jim. Uh, for Javon, why is the press so effective this year? Has it gotten better in your time, uh, in your career there, and why? Um, more experience. You know, we've been doing it. This is our third year at it. Um, we've kind of seen what what every team has to offer, and uh, we have a good coaching staff that do a great job of preparing us for um, what teams are going to do. And uh, we want to win. You know, uh, we're winners. We want to go in there and prove people wrong. You know, we have a lot of doubters. We keep that in mind. Um, like Nate said, uh, we're trying to cap off um, Coach Hugs, his legacy, you know, give him a national championship. It will mean a lot for everybody, for everybody in the state of West Virginia. It's just what we came to do. We just came to win.